Welcome back. This is Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. Sorry about my voice. Got a little bit of a uh, cold this time around. Um, <clears throat> well, this is just a little video about how I clean super dirty, nasty rocks that look like this. You see how dirty and nasty these rocks are? And so when they're this dirty, this nasty, got dirt, algae, moss, and all kinds of other garbage on them, there is only one solution to getting them looking this clean. And these guys were looking horrible. Let me tell you, really horrible. There's only one solution. And that is a bleach and water solution. Um, now, this is probably about... I would say probably about, let's see, two, four, six, probably about eight gallons worth of water um, in here, maybe 10. And then I poured a whole gallon of bleach in it, and I poured like another uh, maybe half gallon of bleach in it. And with that solution sitting overnight, it has greatly cleaned up these rocks here, which was full of algae and all kinds of other stuff. And so you see how clean they are. So I know I talked about in my other videos, other things that you can use, uh, such as vinegar, um, baking soda, and salt, which is very effective as well with hot water. Um, but when it comes to rocks this bad and dirty, there's only really, when it comes to that, the best solution, at least in my opinion, to get them really clean is using uh, bleach and water. Now, when it comes to bleach and bleaching it with water, uh, what you want to do is, of course, after it's done, you let it, let it stay in here for 24 hours. You take the rocks out, have some clothes that you don't care about, shoes that you don't care about, because water and the bleach will get on your clothes and stain them and mess them up. Rinse it off really good with a water hose and rinse all your rocks off really good with a water hose. Fill, put them back in the bin, fill it back up with fresh water. And then what you want to use um, is Seachem Prime or a product called Seachem Safe. Or you can use uh, a product from Fritz. Or you can use even a stronger product, in my opinion, is Cordon Amcol, uh, which is a strong chlorine, chloramine uh, neutralizer. And so you want to use that, uh, uh, so quite a bit of that. Not You don't have to put that much of it, but probably like a tablespoon especially if Seachem uh, Safe, which is very powerful, or uh, Fritz, or, um, or Cordon Amcol, which is extremely powerful. You want to put uh, some uh, do it portion to the instructions that they tell you to do it for in order to neutralize the core rings and core mines in there. And then after that, you just let it sit in here for the next day. Then after that, what you do is you rinse it off really good again uh, with water and uh and then uh, with, with your water hose. And then what I would do is just let it sit out in the sun and just dry out in the sun. Just just let them dry out. And then the next day, uh, before you put them in your tank, just rinse them off again. And then after that, you can just uh, put them in. They can safely be put in your tank. But the products to use, like I said, the one that I'm going to use is Seachem Safe. You can use Seachem Prime. You can use Cordon Amqual, which is really good, or you can use the one that's by Fritz. I don't know what the name of it is, but that's a really good one, too, in order to neutralize the chlorine and the chloramines uh, that the uh, chlorine bleach has that's on this rock. So do it that way, and things will work out well for you in that, in that case. So don't be afraid of bleaching water. Just know what you're doing. Make sure you rinse it off well. Put it back in fresh water. Use your neutralizing uh, agents such as Seachem, Cordon, or Fritz, and you should be good uh, and ready to go for the next round. So that's just a little tip from Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. Until then, keep on hacking.